Okay, YouTube, so I just got something in the mail by FedEx. Ooh, sorry, you can't see it. So, um, you can't see it yet. You, you can't know what it is. But I will, it is, um, I'm going to get it out of the box and I'll tell you what it is. Never mind. It's not going to be a surprise because the video is going to be labeled speaker unboxing. Anyways, so, um, these are an upgrade. I'm going to add them, that surround sound system in there. I'm just going to totally overhaul this thing. Because this is a room that we use a lot more often than we originally thought we would, so we at first we just bought one of those home theater in a box things. So I didn't like that; it wasn't good enough for me, and it only had a 50 watt subwoofer, which I've I've actually got in my room now. It's not hooked up to anything yet. I got to get another amp, but I'll get another amp and. That'll be hooked up, but that used to be out here, and it's the one that came with this Sony, um, DAV TZ140 home theater in a box thing, and, um, I replaced all the speakers with Bose speakers. The other two are back there. I know that's not good for sound quality, but I don't care, because I'm replacing it all anyways. And, um, so I'm going to put those two speakers right there and right there. And I got a new center channel speaker. It is an energy speaker, and I do not like energy speakers because they're really cheaply made. I mean, this one's like the glue holding it together is all worn off, considering the front just comes off with little to no effort. In fact, when I first got it and pulled it out of the box, the front fell right off of it and hit the floor, and I thought I would have broken it. Which might have been a good thing. Anyways, so I'm going to put some BIC America um, DV Venturi... Oh, fuck, what are they called? They're six... They're, uh, okay, hold on. BIC America DV Venturi 64, I think it's called. They're tower speakers. I'm going to put them there. And yeah, I am going to hook them up to that home theater in a box thing. It, that thing has enough power to run them. But we're also thinking about getting rid of that and getting a new surround sound receiver so we don't need that stupid thing anymore. This thing runs all the audio connections from my computer, the TV, my PlayStation, all that stuff. And i got to switch it manually, which is no big deal. But I'd rather just everything be all wired together into one thing and then just use a remote to switch to the input. So enough of that. Let's get on the speaker. Okay, so here are the speakers. They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be, but who cares? That's just better. Now, they do have a version of these that's exactly the same that's got an AMT tweeter in it. But I didn't get that because, I mean, it wasn't that much more expensive. The one with the AMT tweeter was only like 50 bucks, and I paid 40 bucks for these, but uh, I don't know. I probably should have gotten those instead. No honesty, I bought these. Excuse me. I bought these and then found the AMT tweeter, so. Whatever, there's nothing you can do about it. But it's not going to make that big of a difference. And, um. I could swear this had banana plugs, but no, apparently it's got clips, but that's no big deal. <coughs> you can hang it on the wall if you want to. Very simple. And the amazing thing about them is um, their power consumption. They can run at 5 to 40 watts at 6 ohms, so that 50 watt 8 ohm home theater in a box thing should be able to power them just easily. Should, uh, let me say that again. It should be able to power them just fine, shouldn't have any trouble with them, so we're going to hook them up and see how they do. Alright, they got them hooked up now, let's see how they do. So, yeah, I know it's not good to have your rear speakers be, like, better 
that are bigger than your front speakers, especially if your front speakers are hiding behind a television. But like I said, I'm scrapping all these Bose speakers and I'm going to put two big sound towers there. So yeah, that's the speakers and they're, they sound pretty good, I must admit, even without the AMT tweeter, just these standard ones sounds really good. And, um, you know, now that I think about it, I don't even think I told you what kind of speakers they are. I know they're by Dayton Audio, but I don't know what their model number is or whatever. Um, just, just go to Amazon and type that in and... Yeah. Just go to Amazon and type that in. Date and audio, and then that stuff, and... Or maybe that's it right there. I don't know. You got the information there. Oh, look at that. They come with speaker cables. Oh, well. Yeah, that is the, that is the model number. Come on, focus. There we go. That is the model number. So... Just look that up on Amazon if you want a pair of these. They are, you know, I'll measure them for you. Now I know the product dimensions on Amazon tell you the exact dimensions, but it's not really telling you much. It's just telling you like numbers and some time, and you want to get a feel of how they look. Like get an actual size comparison. So they are a foot tall. Little over a foot, no, under a foot, little under a foot tall. And, um, let's see how deep they are. Oh. Got it. Ah, damn it. It's hard to use a tape measure with one hand. There we go. And they're, um, it's upside down, of course. They're about six and a half feet deep. I mean, six, six and a half feet deep, yeah. No, they're, si they're six and a half inches deep. And, um... They are... It's not good to be left-handed sometimes. Seven inches wide. So, yeah. Those are the... Date and audio, model number, what the fuck, whatever. Check them out, they're awesome. Okay, YouTube, so I just got something in the mail by FedEx. Ooh, sorry, you can't see it. So, um, you can't see it yet, you, you can't know what it is. But I will, it is, um, I'm gonna get it out of the box and I'll tell you what it is. Never mind, it's not gonna be a surprise because the video is gonna be labeled speaker unboxing, anyways. So, um,. These are an upgrade. I'm going to add them, that surround sound system in there. I'm just going to totally overhaul this thing because this is a room that we use a lot more often than we originally thought we would. So we at first we just bought one of those home theater in a box things. So I didn't like that. It wasn't good enough for me and it only had a 